Hey guys, VanBuren20 back again, and today I'm about to show you an interview I had with Brian Koo, and if you're not familiar who this guy is, he's pretty well known in the King of Kong documentary as the guy that was going around yelling that there's a potential Donkey Kong kill screen coming up if anyone's interested. He was doing this, it was pretty hilarious, it's a classic line in the movie where he was running around Fun Spot trying to gather a big crowd to gather around Steve Wiebe to add some pressure on him as he was going for that kill screen in Donkey Kong. It's a classic line in this movie, I absolutely love it, and it was a real privilege and honor to interview Brian, and that interview is coming up right now. Okay, guys. Today we're here with uh, Brian Aku, and I, I got some I got some questions for you. Uh, do you think they actually portrayed you correctly uh, in the King of Kong uh, movie documentary? Uh, no, I, I don't think they did a very accurate documentary at all. They made a fictitious movie. Um, the way that I was played as a, shown as a character in King of Kong uh, was somebody uh, completely different from me. They made me out to be like a troublemaker and a villain, and it was simply an angle that the, the executive producer chose to take on me. Um, I'd say my actual persona is not at all like what we saw in King of Kong. Uh, well, no, well, I, wouldn't say, I wouldn't say your persona is as positive as that. <laughs> okay. uh, do you, I, I do have a very positive persona. I, you know, I'm one of the biggest uh, promoters of uh, video game contests and video game playing and video game competition. So, uh, about as positive as it gets. Do you think they're actually portraying you correctly in this play that we're about to watch tonight? Because you've you've seen it one time so far. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. I, I really like the portrayal of myself in this, and it uh, it shows me it, it it shows me very much of you know how I am. I think as the play evolves, as time passes, um, I, the the actor will play uh, play me more like myself. But the way it looks now, this is a a much more accurate portrayal of me than um, than uh, the documentary was. And, uh, right, you've got a grand total of one vote now. Yeah. Right, well, there we go. You, you know, there's some great stuff in here. I mean, you, we're going to see some great points in the play where, uh, you know, all the excitement and joy of just waking up in the morning and going to play at the arcade, going to Fun Spot, doing all kinds of great stuff. Um, you'll see that in the, you'll see that in the play. And speaking of arcades, uh, how many uh, world records do you currently own right now? Okay. Well, I have 33 world records. I broke 16 world records in one day, uh, the first day of the Fun Spot tournament in 2007. Uh, excuse me, 2006. In 2000. Seven on the same day, the first day of the Fun Spot tournament, I broke uh, 17 records in one day. So 33 world records. And uh, <laughs> uh, did Brian, in the play, do you break into any garages? Yeah, I was going to ask you. Did you really go into Steve Weeby's, uh, you know, garage and, uh, you know, like, were you like, like a killer spy here to, you know, investigate his board, make sure it was a, you know, legit board? Well, I didn't break into Steve Weeby's garage. I, I was in, I was in the Seattle area. I was going to ground control in Portland, Oregon, with Perry Rogers, a, a major player in the Seattle area, in a, in a video game legend. Um, I had an appointment with Steve Weeby to uh, meet with him on behalf of Twin Galaxies and look at his game uh, to play some Donkey Kong with him. Steve Weeby actually changed his appointment with me in, a, in the course of a day and a half. Steve changed the appointment six separate times. There were six separate calls to my motel room in, in uh, Redmond, Washington. Uh, Steve Weeby couldn't make it. Steve Weeby had this excuse. Steve Weeby this. Steve Weeby that. Uh, the, in a day and a half, he changed the appointment time six times. <laughs> and you know what? At, after the sixth time, uh, I, we actually went to meet him, and he wasn't there. So we had um, uh, he was about an hour and a half to two hours late when we went to um, when we went to finally meet him at the at the time that he had scheduled. Uh, well, no, there was no break into his garage. We met we met with Steve Weeby. He opened the garage door, and we all sat and played Donkey Kong together. Uh, we took some pictures afterwards, and uh, that was the visit to Steve Weeby's. Awesome. So, are you uh, officially still retired? Uh, yep, I'm still retired. I live in uh, New Hampshire, and uh, actually, I work at an arcade and uh, play video games every day. And uh, this is the, the probably the biggest question of them all, at least for me. Um, is there a, a potential Donkey Kong kill screen coming up? Yeah, well, as you can see, Billy's playing right now, so there's a kill screen coming up if anyone's interested. <laughs> as, long as, yeah, as long as Neil stays away. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much, man. Thank you for this interview. Okay. Thank you.